welcome to Kitchen Tradition, and today we're making macaroni and cheese! <laughs> macaroni and cheese is one of my favorite comfort foods to have, and Nina let me use her kitchen, so we're going to start with the prepping stages, and macaroni and cheese is pretty simple. There's a couple steps to making a perfect macaroni and cheese. You're going to need a roux, and then a cheese sauce. You're going to need to boil your noodles while you're doing this and then bring them all together in a cheesy goodness with the gooey cheese. So let's get started with our cheese. We got cheddar, feta, and monster cheese. So it's a little bit Greek and Armenian inspired. It's got to stay true to my roots. We got butter, flour, uh, prints medium shells where the cheese can get into that shell and get it all good and yummy yummy. So we're gonna get started. Now we're gonna get cut into the cheese part. We're gonna, and um, our monster cheese using probably about a cup of monster cheese. You can get this at your local grocery store. They have it everywhere. It used to be only in Armenian the specialty stores that had it. We're using sharp cheddar and a block of our famous feta that us Greeks love so much. And that's going to add a little bit of um, nuttiness and saltiness to our macaroni and cheese. So basically I'm going to cube it like this big or so. The cheese, um, these are great melting cheeses and uh, feta cheese. It uh, doesn't melt as great, but it has that bite to it. So we're gonna cut it as small as we can get, and then it will melt, but not as not as nice as these cheeses. So you stay right there while I cut the cheese. Check out my cheese pile. We got the cheddar, the feta, and the monster. Now let's go make the roux. Basically, the key to the best macaroni and cheese is all in this piece here. Uh, we're going to need a fat, and this time we're using butter. We got our butter here, and basically I'm going to add a nice little block, get that going in the pan, starting to melt that up. We got our whisk, so once we start getting that butter melted, we're going to add the flour in, and make sure we wash this. We don't want the butter to burn. That would be a crime against food. Making sure we multitask, checking out the boiling water seems to be you know, kick off the heat a bit, turn it up to high. Sprinkle it in and get your whisk so we can mix it together. Once we get that clumpingness going on, we're going to cut off the heat. Let's get that roux all mixed together. So now that we've got the roux made, let that sit for one second. Grab the milk. Any kind of milk, but we're using 1% low fat basically just to get this white sauce going. Gonna kick on the heat again and add about a cup of milk. Gonna whisk it up, get that milk getting a little steamy before we add our cheese in. You know, comfort food is the best kind of food, especially when you just need something to satisfy that craving of yours. And honestly, macaroni and cheese has been a staple, at least in my house. My brother used to eat that like it was his favorite meal. Looks like our water is starting to boil, and now we're gonna add in our shells here. Now we're going to lid that up. Very creamy consistency, nice and smooth as we want it. We'll wait just until it starts boiling before we add in our cheese though. And then we'll get it really cheesy. Now we're going to add the cheese in because we took it off the heat. Start with our Munster and move into the Feta zone and then the Cheddar zone. 
all three. Oh, look at this cheese sauce. Oh, look at this cheese sauce. It's getting really cheesy in here. Warning, warning, extra cheesy. Multitasking is the key to cooking. Making sure you have everything going. Your mise en place, as I call it. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if this is done. I think I'm gonna stick a fork in it, cork in it, see if it's done, maybe it's done, I'm gonna test the shells. Now, before we move further on the cheese, I have to tell you about the secret garlic powder I'm adding in. Just a dash, though. Oh, crap. Alright, so we're getting this cheese sauce stirred for a moment longer. Our shells are just about done, so it's time to get them drained. Basically pouring the whole thing in. All right, this is the money maker right here. Ready for this? Yeah, close up. Look at that. Oh my God! Look at that cheese. Oh my God! Look at it dangling. Can't wait to try it. Whoa! This looks good. Hey Nina! Oh, what are you doing in my Hi. kitchen? Mwah. I made you macaroni and cheese! Oh, it smells delicious! Oh yeah! Is it almost done? It's done! Oh, I want some! Let's get some! Let's <laughs> eat some macaroni! Alright then! Oh yeah, check out these cheesy macaroni strings! Cheese. Macaroni cheese time everyone! In Nina's kitchen! Oh wow, that's a lot! Yeah! <laughs> Let's dig in Nina! Okay! Yeah. Wow! Delicious, all the different cheeses. Whoa, mm -hmm. it is cheesy to max. Mm -hmm. Thanks for letting me cook in your kitchen, even though you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us in Kitchen Tradition, and always keep the tradition back in the kitchen.